epileptic seizures are what happens when the brain has abnormal synchronous activity. Instead of doing a lot of things, as a brain is a massive multiprocessor, instead it does one thing. And when it does that one thing, it causes the body to have an abnormal behavior. Epilepsy is often managed with medications, but when medications fail the person, when medications fail to control all of the epileptic seizures, then we oftentimes do more investigation to see if those anti-epileptic drugs are really the best treatment for those kinds of seizures that the patient is having. The most common reason why medications don't work for somebody turns out to be that they are not suffering from epileptic seizures. They're actually suffering from a different kind of uh, neurological problem, but wasn't even caused by epileptic seizure at all. If it does turn out that somebody has uh, drug-resistant epileptic seizures, then we do have other treatments which can be very effective, including uh, devices that are implantable and ablative surgery where you actually can take out part of the brain to try to stop the epileptic seizures completely. If a patient with epileptic seizures has seizures that are drug resistant, that are resistant to medications, patients should be re referred to an epilepsy center. And the main uh, function of an epilepsy center is to have what's called an epilepsy monitoring unit. So if a patient has tried a couple of medications and that has failed the patient, the patient gets referred to an epilepsy center and oftentimes gets admitted to an epilepsy monitoring unit to try to decide if the kind of medication that was being used is a correct one and if the diagnosis was correct of epileptic seizures. Patients are really the center of, of care here. All the physicians, all the nurses, all the physician's assistants and staff members are all working together for one goal for the patient and that's to get a diagnosis and help them get better. Mm -hmm.